How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'll be making a client server application in Java using sockets. So first off I'll show you what we're going to be making. Now on the right side here I have two console windows, the top one with the server and the bottom one with the client. So the client is able to send a message to the server, for example it can send apples, press enter. The server responds with apples but it's in, low, it's in uh, uppercase. So that's the application right there. Um, we can start off by making a new Java project and calling this client server uppercase, for example. Press finish and we'll make a new Java source file and we'll call this class client and tick the box for the main method as well. We'll need that. Alright, so now we need to think about getting input from the user, from the console. Uh, so to do so, we'll use the scanner class, and we'll call this console in. Say so new scanner system in. So that allows us to get input from the console, and we'll import the scanner class right there. Next, we'll need to de uh, declare the variable uh, to hold information for the server. So we'll call this server, and it'll be of type socket. The socket gives us useful information about the server, in particular the object, sorry, uh, the input and output streams. Um, so we'll import the socket class right there. All right. Next up, we'll make a try catch block because we're going to be writing code that can throw exceptions. And to keep things simple, we'll just output a message saying something went wrong. went wrong whenever there is a any type of generic error. Uh, so any code in here that causes an error, it will just jump to this line and say, you know, something went wrong and close. Um, so that's that. Our next step is to actually connect to the server. So we'll do that by instantiating the socket uh, variable. Say new socket and we'll enter in localhost for the server address. And for the server port, we'll use 8005. So this line right here will actually connect to the server when it's online. And um, from there, we can actually use the server uh, variable to get the input and output streams, which we'll do right now. So uh, before we do this, uh, with streams, uh, the input stream lets us receive data from any other socket. And the output stream lets us send data to another socket. So we can say uh, object output stream say so server out equals new object output stream say so server dot get output stream. Now there are many other output streams and many other input streams you can use but in our case we're using the object output stream because we're going to be sending and receiving Java objects in particular strings. We'll also make an object input stream we say server in equals new object input stream server dot get input stream. There we go. Right, so those are done. We now have a method of sending and receiving data to and from the server. We'll just import those classes real quick. All right. Next step is to start prompting the user for some some input. So we'll do that by making an infinite while loop, and we'll just say. We'll just prompt the user saying, okay, enter some texts. We have that. Then we'll actually get that message. So we'll say string user input equals console in dot get, sorry, uh, next line. So next line will actually do the process of retrieving this line, for example, apples, and storing it inside user input. So once we have that, we'll just um, you know send it right off to the server. So we'll say server out dot right object user input. I'll just comment this and say send data to server. That there will just send our string to the server. Simple as that. Uh, now we'll need to actually wait for the server to respond with the uppercase version, yeah? So we'll say receive server response. And we'll say string server response equals server in dot read object. Now we're using the server in 
um, variable here because the input stream lets us receive objects, the output stream lets us write objects or send objects. But there's an error because the read object method returns an object and not a string. So we'll need to actually cast the return value from object to string so that we can you know, print it out to the screen or do whatever we want to do with it. Um, from there, we can simply just print out the response on the screen. So we'll say system out print line server says, then concatenate server response. And that is pretty much it for the client application. Uh, that all works. In the next video, we'll go over um, doing, you know, the code for the server side.